Um, and this is going to be literally all the steps leading up to actually getting access into the internal jugular vein. So it presumes that you've already picked your spot, you've marked your site, um, you've made a wheel, done a dermatotomy, prepped your micropuncture um, set, and also for these purposes we're also going to prepare the wire that we're going to use after the microwire. Um, so here we have the amplats. And we have our lidocaine as well too because before we make the uh, puncture we're actually going to numb up deeper leading up to the tract. So what we'll do is we'll go through the dermatotomy with our um, lidocaine needle and then we'll just look here on the screen we can see the actual needle there and we will be giving numbing medication until we get right outside the vessel giving numbing medication and then we'll go back along the track giving numbing medication um, and then we'll bury our sharp here we'll grab our micropuncture making sure that the bevel is up and we're going to take the same track go through our dermatotomy here and then um, we will look here on the screen there is our needle right there we can follow it along the tract and then right as we get into the vessel we're going to make a sharp little movement and there it is right inside okay so now we have two options we can let go of the needle or the ultrasound probe we'll show both here very quickly if you get if you let go of the needle what you're going to want to do with the probe is to make sure that you don't move the probe while you kind of hook um, the microwire into place so then we can kind of twirl the wire into place here alternatively if we were to let go of the probe at this point so we'll go back let's say we're inside the vessel here like we were before um, and uh, we're going to let go of the probe hold the needle in place then you can switch hands and hold the needle like so then you can grab the wire again and then similarly what you can do is just try to get your microwire into the tip of the needle and then once it kind of gets in the hub you can twirl it that helps it kind of go down and then you can kind of uh, just advance your wire here as much as you can with it being smooth and it keeps going which is good nice and smooth and now we can pull off the needle here we can bury it in our sharp and what we're going to do now is we're going to put the microcatheter on here we can load it on the back end of the wire there we go. Make sure to not lose access. Hold, and now we're going to hold the back end as we kind of advance the microcatheter as much as we can. Okay. And at this point, what we're going to do is we'll just screw off. We're going to take the uh, microcatheter and the microwire together. So we take the inner portion out with the microwire. Now we just have the outermost portion of the microcatheter in place. We'll cover it to make sure that there's no unnecessary blood loss. And now we can put the Amplatz wire in. There we go. And we'll kind of advance this wire. And now we have secured access. We, ha we can take out um, this microcatheter over the wire and put anything else in and get on with our case and that is how you gain internal jugular vein access.